We believe that it is now an opportune time to develop a new indoor arena that will be amongst the best in class globally. We have gone around to study some of the best arenas in the world to learn from them. We are considering an arena that can host more sophisticated events, that can also flexibly accommodate different types of events and have a first, faster turnaround time between the different types of events. It will be different between sports and entertainment and you have to turn it around very quickly. And also an arena that offers greater value to spectators, such as more varied hospitality suites, better seating, and a better overall experience for the spectator. We are considering for this new arena to be developed adjacent to the current indoor stadium site. This location will continue to give the new arena a synergistic connection to the rest of the Sports Hub and Kalang, and also allow us to plan events and programming as an entire precinct benefiting from the economies of scale. It will also allow the current SIS to operate until the new indoor arena is operational. And this minimizes disruption to the pipeline of events and programming, which can continue throughout the construction period for the new arena. We will also study plans for the SIS and provide more details when it is ready. We are currently studying the capacity of this new indoor arena, taking into account existing and upcoming venues. It should in our view, have at least the same capacity as the current indoor stadium and also be future-proofed so that it can continue to serve Singapore's interests in the foreseeable future. The new indoor arena will operate alongside the rest of the sports hub, offering synergies with the other sporting and community facilities at the Kalang Alive Precinct and also seek to inject further vibrancy into the precinct. <laughs>